Hey beautiful people, what is up and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back Buttercup. Today, you guys already saw, we have a brand new video and I'm going to be doing a first impressions on the new Nomad Cosmetics. This is a long. Iceland Wild Atlantic Way Palette. Just, is it? No, that's Ireland. <laughs> The Ireland Wild Atlantic Way palette. I'm like, Iceland, that's so wrong. So that's what we're going to be doing today per use. You guys already know how it goes here. I'm going to give you some product details. I'm going to pop up some swatches so you can see what it looks like on my complexion. I'm a medium deep complexion with a yellow golden undertone. And then I'm going to dive into three looks for you guys. And then I'm going to come back, wrap things up with my first impressions, thoughts, and let you all go on your way. <laughs> so let's just go ahead, not dilly dally dive right into product details. But before we do that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Join the fam, it's a vibe. Okay, so the Nomad Cosmetics Ireland palette. I'm just gonna say Ireland because Ireland Way Atlantic, Ireland Wild Atlantic Way, it's just team too much words. <laughs> so this is what the palette looks like and I should, I should say it comes in this box. So we do have a difference between the box and the palette. This imagery is absolutely beautiful, super duper stunning. An interesting thing about it, because you all know Nomad commits to a theme and they give us packaging, is that the palette is this sort of felt material. It's actually similar, if not exact, to what they use in the Okavango Safari palette, that kind of felt material. So that's what we get from the palette. Now you do have a little bit of product details on the back, but the bulk of it is on the box. So you have all of the shade names, a couple of in, uh, information about the destination here. The ingredients is on this side of the box, uh, as well as information about shelf life and whatnot on this side. So this does have a 12 month shelf life. This is made in China like their other palettes are, and it is cruelty free and vegan. And per use, when you shop from Nomad Cosmetics, they provide a postcard. The brand is based off of travel, so I love that this is such a unique and like nice, small, not too much touch. You know, like it's not too much. Like I actually like this versus like stickers or whatever. But so there's a postcard that comes with the palette, which also has some details about the destination, what the inspiration is, and most importantly, the cause. One thing about Nomad Cosmetics is that when they release a new palette based on whatever destination that they're at, I believe 5% of the proceeds from the palette goes towards a specific cause that's tied to that destination. I think that's so important because when it comes to travel and when it comes to like being in somebody else's country, somebody else's space and really experiencing it, I think that it's important, especially if you're making money off of it, to give back in some way, form or fashion. And that's one of the reasons why I continue to love and support Nomad. Before we dive in talking about loving and supporting Nomad, I am an affiliate with the brand. Just so we're clear, just so that it's transparent, which means that if you shop using my code Jamila, I do get a small commission from the brand and I did receive this palette in PR. So just wanted you all to know that. That being said, I'm gonna give you all my full raw honest thoughts per use because I don't know how else to do it. Just being frank. Okay, so let's dive into more of the product details. So it says New Ireland Wild Atlantic Way Intense Color Palette, the destination. Welcome to the meandering coastal journey full of towering cliffs, verdant hills and temperature sea and tempestuous seas as we adventure along Ireland Wild Atlantic's way. Stretching from the wind whipping north to the balmy be beauty of the south, this route has sweeping views of untamed lands and unspoiled beaches dotted throughout with charming colorful villages. Escape, explore, and enjoy this spectacular destination, Oscar Wilde described as a savage beauty. The palette. Verdant wild beauty, a spectrum of Irish greens from soft moss and lush bogs to emerald gems, <laughs> to emerald gems and rich glens sprinkled with sea blues and neutral touches of limestone, peat, and golden flowering plants. 11 grand mats and seven splendid shimmers, inspired by the untamed and dramatic beauty of Ireland's west coast. The cause. We are proud to support Irish Wildlife Trust that works to raise awareness of Ireland's rich natural heritage and protect it for future generations. Okay, now I think this all makes sense. I mean, Ireland, it isn't St. Patrick's Day coming up, so it's on theme, it's on brand, it makes perfect sense. So the last thing that I do want to flag is that the palette will retail for $49 USD and it is not limited edition, which means that if they sell out, they will restock. Uh, like I said, I am an affiliate with the brand. My code is just Jamila. It's typically just Jamila across all of the brands that I work with. And not just Jamila, just it's 
just comma Jamila. <laughs> it's just my name. Uh, and that will save you 10%. So like I said, Pat really retails for $49. Jamila will save you 10%. And it will launch on Tuesday, March 12th at midnight or, or 12.01 a.m. EST. So I will make sure to have all that information linked down in the uh, description box below, as well as a link to where you can buy it, where you can shop, all of that fun jazz. So now that we've been through the product details and I've showed you guys these swatches, let's go ahead and dive into the three looks and I'll come back at the end to give you my first impressions thoughts. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the new Nomad Ireland Wild Atlantic Way palette. Ooh, that's a long name. <laughs> so before we dive in, because I haven't swatched or touched this yet, I do want you guys to see the beautiful embossing on all of the shadows. You all know Nomad always comes through when it comes to the embossing. So this is the palette in pristine condition, completely untouched. I don't know how many looks I'm gonna get through before I upload this video. I'm trying to do three, hopefully four, but I have an idea of what I want to do. Uh, and today I actually wanna play in the greens. You can tell this is a very green heavy palette, uh, but I want to put these two, sh no, not those two. Yeah, these two green shades next to each other. I wanna create a really just sort of monochromatic green look. So I'm gonna dive in with this shade first as my transition shade. This is Malin Head, which I'm probably pronouncing incorrectly. It's quite light and probably the lightest shade in the palette. So I'm gonna plop that in the crease as a transition shade. Yeah, it's a little light. But not terribly so. Okay, so next up we're gonna go into Wild Atlantic Way. I'm using that same brush to start building depth over that initial shade in the crease. Okay, we're gonna go into the outer V now, starting with Blani Stone. I'm just gonna tap that in, and then just start blending. Per usual, I'm not having any issues with these Nomad mats. They are doing exactly what I'm used to Nomad mats doing, blending, building beautifully. No patchiness, nothing. They're actually blending quite quickly too, which is phenomenal. And then lastly, I'm gonna use the same brush going over into Tiante. Taint. Mm, that's not how that's pronounced. Hold on. <laughs> So, so I had to Google it. I'm here, it says taint, but I don't think that's right because then this one right next to it is like an S before the thing. And Google says this is lancha. So is this tancha? If you know, please let me know. I'm trying my best. Um, I really don't like mispronouncing words. And um, the Googles is a little conflicting. I'm just gonna say that. But I'm taking that, I think it's Tancha or Taint, whichever one it is, and I'm just deepening this up ever so slightly. Okay, next I'm gonna go into Slancha. Slancha. That is that green. Just gonna plop that into the sense of the lid here. But I'd rather do it the hard way. I'd rather do it the hard way. I'd rather do it the hard way. Oh Jesus. This is a master class or a crash course in language. Okay, so and then because the name of the game is monochromatic, we're gonna go into this light green shade. It is Dia Hoich, which I just learned is how you say hello in Irish. This is actually a lot of fun. So we're just gonna put that into the inner parts of the eye, blending that in with that first shade. Even when I'm broken, 
This one does seem a little bit more loosely packed and crumbly than the first. So we're getting a little bit of fallout, but not terrible. Okay, you guys see the vision, you see what we're going for. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and come back and show you guys the final look. Okay, so this is what the eyes are looking like. This is all y'all gonna get because the rest of my face and my hair is a, it's a bit of a mess. So this is the first look. Let's go ahead and dive into a couple more looks. Good morning. Okay, so we are back for look number two with this new Ireland palette from Nomad Cosmetics. So my plan today is to play with this shade and this shade because I haven't swatched these yet, but they look like they would be somewhat similar when put next to each other. So that's kind of what I'm trying to suss out is how similar would these be next to each other. I also want to keep this kind of neutral, so I think I'm going to start by going into this shade right here as my transition shade. And given that I've realized that these are all Irish words and I cannot say them, I'm not gonna try to butcher them because I don't like mispronouncing things. I know I do it a lot sometimes, but I really be trying my best. And to not <laughs> butcher these people's language, I'm just gonna point to the shade that I'm going in with, okay? So going in with that, it's almost like a neutral, not neutral. It's like a, it almost looks green. It's like brownish green. I don't know, I'm describing this really, really bad, but I don't know if you guys can see the little green tint to it. But this is a very, very unique matte shade. I don't like it. So I'm just plopping that directly into the crease as the transition shade for this look. Then going into this deep brown shade, it's actually more of a mid-tone brown than an actual deep brown. I'm gonna see if I could actually use that as my outer V shade uh, because, well, let's just start with putting it in the crease and building them. Because the truth is there's no real neutral out, um, like deep color. The deepest shade is either deep blue, yeah, that deep blue or deep green. So I'm just gonna plop that into the crease and a little bit into the outer V as well. And then lastly, I'm gonna go into this deep green shade for the outer V. So I'm tapping that in, blending it into the brown, so I'm kind of pulling it up and across and just diffusing it. So I'm getting most of the pigment into the outer corner and then just kind of like blending it up and across. I kind of feel like this is mixing with the brown that I put down in a really nice way that makes this just a hint less green. And I mean like barely, because you can still see that this is a green <laughs> matte. Okay, so like I said, I wanna try this shade and this shade because I feel like on camera you guys can see that they both look kinda similar in terms of the color. Now, they're not exact, but I wanna see like when I put on the eyes how stark the differences are. Ooh, that's a pretty gold. I said I hate you, guess so is lying. Okay, so you can definitely see green. This is a very like just clear cut green gold and this one is more like yellow gold. Okay. I feel like we'll be able to see the differences on the eye, but let let's 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 try it. Now because we have the green going on in the outer V, I'm actually going to start with the 
green leaning shade and I'm gonna put that into the center of the lid and then I'm gonna put the gold into the sort of first half of the lid and blend it into the green these shimmers are really really soft which I think is actually quite interesting because one of the complaints that I've heard about Nomad from a number of folks is that the shimmers tend to be really tightly packed sometimes and then just very difficult to apply, especially if you're using a brush. Now, I've always been someone, you guys know, that has no issues going in with my finger to apply shadows, but I know that that's not everybody's cup of tea. So I will say this palette seems a lot looser and a lot softer. Not like breakable, loose or like it's gonna crumble, but just easier to apply. So that was the green and now taking the gold. Okay, so you guys can see the green and the gold together, they are different. Let me go ahead, well, you see the vision. So I'm gonna go ahead, clean up my face, finish up this look, and then I'll come back and show you guys this final look. Okay, so this is the final second look. Sorry, the bangs are, I'm still figuring out the haircut, you guys. So I gotta figure out how to get the bangs to not be so like in the eyes. If y'all have tips and tricks, let me know. Oh, if y'all know who I should be following, let me know as well. <laughs> I'm not a hair content creator, as you can tell. So I just kind of let it do whatever it wants to do, which is fine most of the time, you know? Anyways. Not what y'all are here for. This is the final look number two, okay? I really like this. I will say that I feel like you can distinctly tell the two different, you know, like the green gold and then the general gold on the eyes. So, totally happy with that so far. I wanna do at least one more look for you guys, maybe two. So let's go ahead and dive into another look. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in. Full transparency, there's something wrong with this eye. I can't really see out of it very well. I don't know what's going on. I think I slept weird, but we're gonna dive in and I really wanna focus on this blue-ish duo right here because it is such a uh, unique color to throw in this blue. Um, so yeah, let's dive into that. So first I'm gonna go in with Danny Boy as my transition shade for this look. And we're gonna plop that into the crease. This is a bit of a grayish tone with a little bit of green in it, but also I feel like a little bit of blue, but mainly green. And I think I'm only gonna use two mattes because next up we're gonna go into the deep blue matte. This is called Keemstrand. And I'm just gonna plop that into the outer V, start blending that into that initial shade. You guys know, we're creating gradient, we're creating a deep, uh, um, we're creating depth in the outer V, but then blending it into the rest of the eye so that we have a nice gradient going. I don't know why I'm struggling to. I mean, I'm just having coffee, so like my brain is still waking up. But also, like I said, I can't see out of my right eye. And it's not that I can't see, it's just that y'all when I tell you it's blurry, it is so blurry. And it's not like there's something in it, I just, it just irritates it. I don't know how to explain it. Cause this happens to me sometimes where like I'll wake up and it feels like it, one, it kind of feels like there's something in my eye, but there's nothing in my eye. And it feels like there's like a film over my eyeball, I guess, that just makes everything super blurry. And that's 
kind of where I'm at right now. So if this look turns out bad, I'm gonna blame it on the fact that I can't see. Okay, mats are laid down. So we are gonna go into this blue shimmer, Cobb Haba. It's pretty. I'm just gonna plop that into the center of the lid. I'll be dancing. Now I love myself more than you ever did. And I know you can sell. Damn, I'm vibing with the new. Okay, this shimmer feels distinctly different from the others. This one actually feels like the Nomad shimmers that I'm used to. The other shimmers that I've used in the last couple looks feel a little less creamy and on that very, very soft, kind of like loose side. And I also feel like I got a lot of fallout from those other shimmers. This one has that creamy texture that I like know Nomad to have. It's not the creamy texture that I think is overly creamy and would lead to creasing. But again, I'm somebody who does not experience creasing. So I can't really speak to it because I don't have creasing. Like I don't have hooded eyes or anything like that or oily lids or anything. So when it comes to creasing, it is extremely rare that I get creasing with any shadow. Like unbelievably rare. And... I really want to go into this shimmer. This is actually the lightest shimmer in the palette. And I want to go into that and put that into the inner part of the eye. This one is called Savage Beauty. And this feels more like the shimmers from the last two looks. So it kind of feels like there's two different formulas going on in here. Maybe? And I've used all but one shimmer in this palette so far. Okay, so this is the vision. Let me go ahead, clean up this eye look, come back and show you guys the rest of my face, and then I'll give you guys my thoughts on this palette. Okay, I'm back. This is the final look. And I think I'm going to stop here. Now, I do want to do one other look with this palette. I've been really thinking about doing like a halo eye. But because this palette is going to be, well, the color story is going to come out tomorrow, I think, maybe. I need to check. But <laughs> I want to get this video up as soon as possible so that you guys have some sort of reference in terms of what it's going to look like on a deeper complexion. Now, I consider myself to be medium deep uh, with a yellow golden undertone. I am a little bit lighter now because it is the tail end of <laughs> winter. But I will deepen up when it comes to, to spring, summer, all that fun jazz. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. Let's talk about the palette. So, okay, first and foremost, I just wanna say I really, really like the packaging on this. This is beautiful. It is that like lovely kind of felt feel to it, but that being said, this will get dirty. Because it is felt and it's basically like cloth, it's gonna absorb product. So like if you have foundation, powder, anything that might, any kind of cream products on your hands, it's gonna transfer to this. So I am genuinely concerned that I'm gonna get this hella dirty and it's gonna look real crusty and musty. <laughs> so that is a concern for me, but I will say I love the felt t uh, um, feel to this and I just love how Nomad does packaging because in addition to this being you know, felt, there is a pattern to this cloth that's on top of here. So really beautiful. And funny enough, this is the same material that's used for, at least yeah, I think it's the same material that's used for the Okavango palette. But I don't have the same concern about this one getting dirty. And maybe it's because of the black round spots. But yeah, just that's neither here nor there. Just wanted to let you guys know. Uh, let's talk about the actual palette and the color story itself. Now this is beautiful. It's stunning, but it's a lot of green. Now it does make sense considering that this is based on Ireland. But I will say that this is a very, very green palette. And in my opinion, this would have been better suited if it was the smaller Nomad size. So you guys know Nomad typically has two size palettes. 
this large long one this smaller one i wish they had actually brought it down to this smaller size because quite frankly i don't know if we necessarily needed all of these green mats i think that we could have gotten rid of some of the mats in this and just made this a smaller palette or in one one thing that i actually would have liked is if we had switched out one of the green mats here and given us like a darker deeper brown because the thing is that it brings you this close to being able to create a neutral look but not all the way there because you do have like gold shade, this copper shade. This is the one shade that I actually did not use in this palette. Let me swatch it for you guys. Ooh, that is pretty. So we have this gold green shade, this copper shade, and then this kind of like light greenish gold, but it definitely leans more into neutral. So we have the neutral leaning shimmers, but we don't have real neutral leading mattes. We have these three mattes here, but we don't have a deep like brown matte to go with it. So I wish we had, you know, switched out one of these green mattes and given us like a brown to kind of pull this together. I do appreciate the blue that was thrown in here because it does give it a little bit of versatility because even though I do think that this is too big and we could have gotten a smaller palette, it is a versatile palette. So you have greens, golds, coppery, neutral leaning shades, and then blue. The only thing is that it kind of almost is always going to lean green because the mattes are really just the green mattes, if that makes sense. Unless you are lighter complexion, then this might be a deep enough brown for you to get like a deep outer corner. But for me, this is kind of a transition slash creek shade. It's not necessarily one that I'm using to deepen up the outer V. Okay, so we talked about the cons being... One, I think that this could have been the smaller Nomad format, and I wish that we had swapped out some of the greens for like neutral leaning mattes. Now let's talk about the pros of this palette. I think that this is really beautiful. I think that the theme is perfect. I think it makes complete sense, the color story that they that they chose in, in terms of it being very green heavy. Uh, what the, the biggest pro for me in this palette is the shimmer formula. One of the complaints that I've heard a lot of people say when it comes to Nomad cosmetics is that their shimmers can be really hard pressed get hard pan and just really difficult sometimes to pick up with an eyeshadow brush because they do have a little bit of creaminess to it which i find can sometimes be difficult using a brush the shimmers here feel like the same nomad formula but better and let me explain and you might have heard me say this when i was applying the shadows on the lid the shimmers feel looser in the pan than they do in some of the previous eyeshadows that i have like when i would dip my finger into it like honestly I had to be a little bit careful because I was like, oh, that's a lot of product. And I think it's because I've been used to the Nomad Shimmers being a little bit more hard pressed that I kind of had to work a little bit to like get the, the shimmer onto my fingers. Now, I have never had an issue applying shimmers with my fingers. I know that's not everybody's cup of tea, uh, but I've always like, it's been, I don't want to say it's been harder. It's just that applying it with my fingers or dipping my fingers into these pans, I noticed that it was softer than some of the other Nomad Shimmers. So I want to flag that specifically because I know so many of you guys have like used the Nomad palettes and been like, it's just too hard pressed. It's really difficult to work with. So I really appreciated how the shimmers in here applied. The only one that I felt like was more consistent with the older formula was this blue shimmer. I felt like this was a little bit creamier, a little bit more putty like, but all of the others applied in that very sort of nice, loose texture, which I'm hoping... Is consistent across all of the palettes and then the other pro i want to highlight is that it's the same good nomad cosmetics mattes you guys know i love the nomad matte formula i think that they blend well they build well i don't experience any patchiness or anything with them so we have the good mattes and in my opinion a slightly elevated formula now i cannot say for certain that they changed the formula or they changed the way that it was pressed i'm just saying that i picked up on those differences when i was applying it to my lids all right that's it you guys now i don't know when this is launching I don't think they've released it yet because I did get this in advance, but let me just check the Instawebs real quick. So this will launch Tuesday, March 12th at midnight, basically, Eastern Standard Time. So that's when it will be available, and this is going to retail for $49 USD. So if you are interested in picking it up, I will have all the details linked down below. One thing I also want to flag is that I am an affiliate with Nomad Cosmetics, which means that if you shop using my code Jamila, one, you'll save 10% off of your order, and two, I will get a small commission off of your purchase. So if that's how you want to support, your girl is very grateful. <laughs> but yeah, that, I just have that information down below. Um, I'm actually quite impressed with the price. I, As you can tell, I'm looking at this right now. So um, $49, considering what price palettes are this 
this this time around that's not bad there are no dual crumbs or multi crumbs or anything in this so just you know you guys know bear that in mind but that's it you guys thank you so much for watching today's video don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out leave a comment down below let's leave green hearts because you guys saw we're going with the green well this look isn't green but it's a green palette so leave all of your green hearts in the comments down below as always thank you so much for watching i appreciate you so much more than you know and i'll catch you in my next one bye